So uh, this is on behalf of Vishwarathi Lami, they do not clarify central level Vishwarathi. At the very outset, let me extend our team. Congratulations and gratitude to you and your team, particularly Madam Nila from Bangalore office, for uh, taking a immediate care to demonstrate this SPSS software before the Vishwarathi the academics audience. And perhaps this is one of the most fabulous, popular, and researchers friendly research tools to analyze and to represent the data in the research arena or academic platform. So without losing much sentence and much time, let me hand over the floor to Mr. Gaurav and Madam Nila to take care about the session. And you can also share the screen. My team is here. And your voice is also clear as I soon and as I listen. And uh, I think your video will be, when it will be unmuted, we'll be able to see you. So with these few words, uh, just accept our deep, uh, deep regards and congratulations. And just try to start the session. And if you allow, after your demonstration, my academic showcase, those who are in the online and physical in the central library conference hall, if you allow, they may take an interactive part with you after your demonstration, if they have any. Okay. So with these few words, let me hand over the board to you to start on. Thank you very much. All right, all right. So thank you so much for the brief introduction. Uh, and I want to welcome everyone who have just joined in today's meeting. So we have made it very simple and kept it simple for people to understand who is new to SPSS as well. I've divided this session into two parts. Within the first half, I'm going to take you a walkthrough of the module specification, which SPSS comes with. In the next half, I'm going to take you a walkthrough to the interface of SPSS. I hope my voice is loud and clear, right? Your voice is clear to us. Please carry on. All right. All right. Perfect. So I'm just going to share my screen. Do let me know if my screen is audible, uh, screen is visible. Yeah, I hope my visible. screen is visible. Yeah, yeah, it's clearly visible. Perfect. Please. So right now, oh, all right, so thank you for the confirmation. So, so first thing first, uh, the current version of SPSS we have is 29.0. Okay, but uh, the latest documentation is hot, not out yet. So I'm going to refer you through the 28 module specification sheet, the 28 version module specification sheet, which was made by our team. And I'm going to give you a glimpse as well. What are the changes made in the 29th version? Okay, so starting with the module specification sheet first. So as now everyone might be knowing that IBM SPS statistic is a data analytics software, which helps you to get more insights on your data, do analysis on that, and grow your business or your research. The current version, as I told you, we have 29.0, but it comes with base plus 14 add-on modules. So if you just go through this list, you'll come to know that base plus there are 14 add-on modules in total, okay? Wherein you have to just ignore this part, wherein this IBM SPSS AMOS, it is a totally different standalone software. It is a structure equation modeling software. We won't be getting into it deep about that. So let's, let me give you a walkthrough about each and every module, each and every modules and its specification about it, okay? So just to get started with SPSS, you will require base plus any two add-on modules. So in from the 14 add-on modules, you are supposed to choose any two add-on module just to get started with SPSS. Later on, as per your need, you can add as many modules you require in future. Okay. So first thing first, just to get started, you will require the base plus any two add-on module. It can be advanced statistics regression or advanced statistics decision tree, bootstrapping data planning, marketing, any combination that you would like to go for. Now, let me give you a small walkthrough about each and every modules in simple terms. 
so the first we have is the base module sir the base module provides you capabilities that supports your entire data analytic process including from data preparation descriptive statistic linear regression visual graphing reporting etc you can access multiple data formats without any data processing size limits but as it is a base module it has certain limitations as well example if you want to perform a linear regression you can perform up to univariate and bivariate cases the moment you want to perform for multivariate cases you will require the regression add on modules so that is one limitation about the ibs the base module itself and if you just go through the key features about it you can read it as in descriptive statistics bivariate statistics prediction model for numerical groups then transformation factor analysis <clears throat> data data sorry reporting geospatial analysis graph these are all a part of the base module itself so i just want to request you one thing i would request you just go through this module specification sheet so you will have a brief idea as well what techniques or what things are covered in each module okay as you can see you can just go through this sheet reliability and analysis roc analysis these are all a part of the base module itself then meta analysis and power analysis were the latest enhancement done in the 28 version okay then effect sizes ratio statistic these are all a part of the base module itself so you can see the base module covers your entire data analytic process first thing first after this we have an add on module known as an advanced statistics so this add on module provides procedures that offers some advanced statistical modeling options to analyze your data that has unique characteristics you can say example would be describing a relationship between a dependent variable and a set of independent variables so which will help you to gain deeper insights from your data and to help solve real world problem in disciplines such as marketing pharmaceutical manufacturing market research and so on and again the key features which it does come with are listed below over here i request you to just go through it once example would be bayesian statistics general linear model mix models general linear model general linear mix model these are all variance component these are all the advanced statistical modeling options which you get with the advanced statistic add on module if you just go through it there are a lot of advanced techniques so i want you to request it and just go through it once so even you will have a brief idea about it as in bayesian statistics matrix end to end these are all advanced techniques which comes with the advanced statistic add on module okay so this was all about that then after that we have an add on module known as in bootstrapping so as everyone might be knowing that bootstrapping it is nothing but a resampling technique used to increase the accuracy of your analysis you can say that this is a method or a tool consisting in repeatedly drawing samples from your data set calculating statistics and then perform matrix on each of those samples so in machine learning this is something used for the performance of model so one limitation about bootstrapping is you cannot bootstrap all of the analysis which you can perform into spss as it is its own limitation as in these are all the techniques which you can bootstrap on okay in real world as well if you want to bootstrap certain analysis you can bootstrap all of this analysis only so this is one important thing about the bootstrapping you can only bootstrap all of these analysis which you can perform into spss after this we have an add on module known as in direct marketing so this marketing uh, this add on module is specifically was designed for marketing purpose first thing first which will help you to conduct advanced analysis on your customers or your contacts choosing from re recency frequency and monetary analysis which is known as an rfm analysis then we have 
cluster analysis, postal code analysis, which will basically help you to understand your customer in depth, improving your campaigns, and then maximize your ROI of your marketing budget. The key features which it does come with are again listed below over here. Request you to just go through it once. After this, we have an add-on module known as Conjoint. Again, this add-on module is specifically designed for marketing purpose only. It, this add-on module will help you to understand the preference of your customer. It helps you to uncover information about how a customer compares product in the market and then measures the individual product attributes on your consumer behavior. So with the help of this information, you can redesign, reprice, or remarket your products or services tailored as per your customer needs. Again, the key features which it does come with are listed below over here. Quest you to just go through it once. All right. Okay, so after this, we have an add-on module known as an exact test. Okay, so this module gives you the capabilities to obtain some accurate results when you have small number of data set. When assumption of your analysis might not be met by your data. No, so with the help of this add-on module, you can get some correct point estimates. This add-on module provides two additional methods to do so. One is exact Fisher test and one is Monte Carlo method. And the other key features are again listed below over here. Request you to just go through it once. Okay, so after this, we have an add-on module known as in categories. So again, this module will help you when you have categorical type of a data. It uses optimal scaling to analyze your data that are difficult or impossible for standard statistical methods to do so. As in, if you look, go through it, you will have an idea about it, what are techniques it covers, example, categorical regression, correspondence analysis, multiple correspondence analysis, categorical principal component analysis, and so on. So these are all advanced categories type of techniques which will help you to handle your categorical data. Okay. Again, I would request you to just go through so you have idea about the techniques it comes with. Then after this, we have an add-on module known as a neural network. Again, it is a predictive technique uh, which offers some non-linear data modeling options that enables you to discover more complex relationship in your data. It is an AI technique, you can say, and some of the key features highlighted would be multi-layer perception, radial basis function, and so on. So again, I will request to just go through it once to have a brief idea about what our techniques this module covers. After this, we have an add-on module known as in custom tables. So this module will help you to summarize the output of your SPSS statistics. It offers some advanced features that allows you to build a table which can be easily understood by your people or your audience. It has a very easy to use graphical user interface and formatting control as well. So you can literally make your output and your, you know, the results you get from my space is a little more attractive. Again, if you want to know key features that comes with, everything has been listed below over here. As example, these are the part of graphical user interface, then control contents, then formatting controls. These are all the key features which it does come with. Okay, so this was all about the custom table add-on table module. After this, we have a module known as in data preparation. So this add-on module has some advanced techniques that will help you to streamline or make your data preparation stage easy. Okay, it is a tool which benefits in delivering fast and accurate data. So you, without wasting any time on preparing your data set, you can jump on doing analysis on that and manipulating the results. As an example would be you can, with the help of this module, you can automatically prepare your data set for your analysis. You can validate your data set for your analysis by the given rules, or you can predefine your own rules, 
optimum binning, so on, identify unusual cases. Okay, so these are all the benefits of this ADAG module, data preparation. Again, request you to just go through it once to get a brief idea about the detailed techniques. After this, we have an add-on module known as in decision trees. Again, this add-on module will help you to identify groups, discover relationship, and predict future events. It will help you to present again the categorical result and explain analysis more clearly to your non-technical audience. You can create models for segmentation, stratification, data reduction, and etc. These are all the techniques it comes with. This is the key features which are already listed below over here. Okay, request to just go through it once. After decision tree, we have add a model known as in regression. So as it is a family of a classical predictive technique, it contains a really wide range of non-linear regression models. So with the help of this, you can create multiple regression model in a very short period of a time. As in, if you want to know the key features it comes with, as in the key techniques, these are all listed below over here. Multi-element logistic regression, binary logistic regression, probit analysis, two-stage least squares, so on, and quantile regression. These are all the advanced regression techniques which this regression add-on module comes with. Again, just go through it once, so you'll have a brief idea about it. Okay, so after this, we have an add-on module known as in forecasting. Okay, so again, this forecasting add-on module contains a really lot of techniques in it, as in there are multiple time series module has been uh, compiled it in it, as in, as in features of it, it is. As in time series, I, I hope everyone might be knowing that it is a set of observation obtained by measuring a single variable regularly over time. So with the help of this model, you can uh, predict some really future events based on your known past events. And again, the key features are listed below over here. Request you to just go through it once. There are multiple Arima models in this as well for your uh, better understanding. Then uh, we have an add-on module known as in complex sample. So again, this model was helped to design, reach you some correct point estimates, predict numerical and categorical outcomes from non-simple random variable. It uh, helps you to improve the accuracy of your result, accelerate your analysis, boost efficiency, and manage your complex survey data. And the key features are again listed below over here, the key techniques, which it comes with. Request you to go through it once. After this, we have a last add-on module known as missing values. And this is a very helpful module first thing first, which will help you to manage missing values in your data set and draw some direct conclusion from it. As you know that in today's world, in real world data, you will get a lot of noises or not a lot of discreteness in your data set. So this is a very helpful module in regard terms to that. It, this model will also help you to build model that specifically account for missing data and remove hidden bias from it as well. Okay, you can analyze the pattern of your missing values as well. So these are all the key features which it does come with. So request you to just go through it once. So you'll have a brief idea about that as well. Then Amos, we have a structural equation modeling software, which is a totally standalone software. You won't be getting into this deep. All right, so I've completed with the first half of the session. Now, in case if anyone has any question, you can ask, or I'm going to take you directly to the walkthrough of the software. I'll take a pause for two minutes. If anyone has any question regarding the module specification, do let me know. Anyone has any question? I think Mr. Godo will continue. 
All right, sir. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Now again, I'm gonna share my screen. Do let me know if it is visible. So I hope my screen is visible, right, sir? Yes, it's visible. All right. So this is our latest announcement done in the 29th version. I'm gonna give you a small glimpse of that as well. So now Mr. there Godab, is a new. Please. Yeah, Mr. Godab, uh, yeah, your voice is not getting very uh, efficiently. It's uh, sometimes it is dropping and it's uh, I mean trembling. I don't know why it is, okay. but. I guess it's because of the network that's fluctuating. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, please continue. All right, so thank you. So these are on the right hand side. You'll see all the latest enhancement done in the 29th version of SPSS. Okay, so wherein there is new plot added known as in volume plot. Then there is a new technique added as in survival rig in SPSS 29th version. <clears throat> then there is a new Python based procedure added known as in linear ridge, which is a latest enhancement again. Then there is a new technique added known as in linear lasso, which is also again a Python based procedure. Then there is a linear elastic net. This is again, again a new latest add on feature. Then there is new enhancement done. In improving the messaging and ease of use of the workbooks, then the search feature now provides you options for entering directly terms into the toolbar. This is also a new enhancement, and that's it. So you can consider these are all the new enhancement done in the 29th version of SPSS. Okay. Now I hope my screen is visible still, right, sir? Yeah. yeah, so this is the interface of SPSS. Uh, this is most, more likely like an Excel worksheet with some menu driven options on the top left corner. First thing first, we have two view. One is data view and one is variable view. Data view is the view wherein you will be able to see your data, directly feed your raw data into SPSS. And variable view is where you define your data set for your analysis. I'm going to give you an example about that as well. So whenever you are using SPSS, make sure this file data transform and analyze file data transform and analyze, which will analyze and graph this four menu where you will be using a lot, there's five options, file, data, transform, analyze, and graph. You'll be using a lot when uh, you start using SPSS because everything the basic is compiled into this five options only. Wherein the file menu will help you to import and export files into SPSS. Data and transform menu will help you to prepare your data set for your analysis. And again, analyze menu will show all of the analysis option which you can perform into SPSS. Every analysis which you want to perform or which you can perform into SPSS will be shown under this tab only. Then the graph menu will help you to create some really nice visualization for your data set or your research or your study. Okay. Now let me give you an example how you import any data set into SPSS. You go to file, then open and then click on data. After clicking on data, you have to just navigate through the path wherever you have uh, saved your data set. It can be desktop or any folder. You have to just navigate through it and open your data set. So for this demonstration, we're going to use the demo data set, which comes with SPSS itself. Okay. Now 
one more important thing if you want to know in future that what all types of file you can import into scss and start working on so you can just come here and click through this drop down menu so this drop down menu will let you know that what all types of file you can import into scss and start working on example dot pxtv dot xls and so on so these are all the types you can import in of files you can import into spss and start working on so let me give you an example how does a demo data set or a data set will look like into spss so dot scv is the extension for demo data set do not get confused okay so this is how your data set will look like into spss on the top if you can see age marital status as in the marital address these are all the your column names income income category you can directly make any changes if you want to from this view as in the data view which is the editor view as well to directly make changes into your raw data then we have variable view so whenever it is highly recommended well this is a very important point that whenever you import any data set into spss you first come into variable view and define your variable properties properly because how you define your variables will result into your analysis or the results of your analysis so it is very really highly recommended that you define your variables properly i'm going to give you an example as in a small options about this as well as in how can you define your variables into spss so let's start with the name column so the name column is nothing but to name your variables as in the column name so you as you can see we have a column name age marital address and so on so while naming your variables you have to make sure it is it doesn't start with any special case characters or any numbers you have to use plain alphabets only and there is a certain limitation as well as in the it cannot take a certain length of characters that's why if you want to give a description about this you can use the label column as in you can see we how we are utilizing this label column as in we have named all the variables very short and sweet and we have given label to that as well as in age age in years marital marital status address yes at current address income household income in thousand so this is how you can utilize the name and column into spss then we have a column known as in type so now if you want to define the type of variable you have to just come here and click this three dot so spss offers you this all types of variable to define into your data set where in numeric bit and string will be the most common and the often you will be using whenever you are defining the properties okay again it depends upon your field to field research field to field study whatever type of variable you require okay so this was all about the type column then width and decimal is not that much useful once you get pro that time you will understand what is the use of it so for the current as in the beginner part you can ignore this two columns label i have already explained you then we have values so values column is helpful when you have categorical type of data example i have this variable known as in marital which is a marital status and i think that it is a categorical variable so what i have done i have come here and click on this three dot i have defined zero for the people who are unmarried and i have defined one for the people who are married again this way i can add multiple categories as per my need as per my research or study let me give an example for this as well now if i want to add the third category i can just come here give the value and give the label for that as well as in divorce so over here i have added third categories for divorce people as well and just hit okay now there are so three categories defined same way if you want to delete it you can just come here and click on this all right so this is the value column through which you can handle your categorical type of data into spss okay so after this we have an app 
column known as in missing columns. So SPSS first thing first offers you multiple ways to handle missing values in your data set. This is one way to do that. Okay. Let me give an example for that as well. Now in this internet variable, I think that my variable has a lot of missing values. So what do I do? I come here, click on this three dot. And if there is no missing values, I'm going to select this. If there is any missing values and I want to give a discrete values, I can just give a number eight, nine, and 10. This eight, nine, 10 number will be automatically populated at uh, random places as in wherever there is a missing values. And I have to just click okay. So whenever there is a missing values now, this eight and nine will be populated. Let me give you an example for that as well. So where is our variable called internet? So this is our variable internet. Now, if you look into this, you see over here, so this was a missing value. Automatically nine has got populated. And And again, any example for that? So this way it will be randomly populated. See, eight. So again, there was a missing value. It got randomly populated as an eight. It is as per your choice, as per your research, whatever you want, you can define it as per your need. It goes. All right. So this was all about the missing column. After that, we have a column known as in column and alignment. Again, this is not much that useful. You can ignore it for the bigness part. Then we have a very important column in SPSS. There is the measurement level. Okay, SPSS offers you three type of measurements: scale, ordinal, and nominal. Scale are for those continuous numeric values. You can always select scale variable. Then ordinal and nominal are both for categories, but nominal are for categories and ordinal are for those categories which can be rank ordered. Again, nominal is you can select for categorical variable and ordinal for those categorical variable which can be rank ordered. Let me give you an example for that as well. Over here, nominal gender is a first of all a categorical variable and we cannot rank it ordered. That's why we have selected nominal. Now employment category, okay, employment category. We think that we can categorize the rank in this variable. That's why we have selected ordinal. So that's how it goes. There are three types of measurement levels, scale, ordinal, and nominal to keep it simple. Now the last column we have role, which is again uh, not useful for the bigness part, but once you get pro, you can directly come here and define the type of role you want to play with your variable as in you want your variable to play in target role or both or none and so on. So this was all about the variable view. You have to make sure whenever you import any data set into SPSS to come here and define your variables properly. Okay, so this was all about now. This is the data view will again. These are all the options which will help you to prepare your data set for your analysis. You can define variable properties, identify duplicate cases, unusual cases, sort cases, sort variables. You can merge files with cases, with variables. Then you can split file. You can create some orthogonal design, select cases, put some if condition. Then again, this transform menu. You can compute new variables as in create new variables. You can record into same variable or different variables. You can create dummy variables. Prepare data for modeling. These are three options, advanced options. These are then you can create time series. You can again replace missing values, create random numbers. So again, by looking at the options only, you will be having an idea about what things you can do with these options as in the transform menu, right? This is also one way to handle missing values into SPSS. As I told you, data in transform menu will basically help you to prepare your data set for your analysis. Now, example, if you want to run a descriptive into SPSS, it's very simple. We go to analyze descriptives, then descriptives. This is the window you will be getting. Now you have to select the variables you want descriptives on. Okay, you can either drag and drop or either you can use this arrows as well. Select whatever variables you want a descriptive one and just explore these all options whenever you are doing anything in SPSS. 
as in if i click this option i can get some minimum maximum variance standard deviation range standard error mean kurtos squinis all about this so these are all the you can see the measurements i can get in one click only so i hit continue and click okay so this is the output of spss will look like sweet and simple now again if you want to edit this output you can just double click it you will get into this mode which is the side pane table editor mode in which these are all the options to make your output look literally attractive to your audience or your colleagues first of all you this the output which you are getting is already into a presentable mode whatever changes you have done you have to just make the changes and click on this cancel the changes will be automatically populated now again if you want to share this output with your colleagues what can you do you can just right click it copy it as an excel worksheet or a plain text or an image it is already in a presentable quality you can either cut copy or you can directly export into a different file as well as per your need we have made it very easy for you to share your output as well from spss to any others okay so this is how simple it is to run any descriptives into spss again if i want to run some descriptives for categorical variable i can just come here do frequency drag and drop the variables i want the frequencies on the categorical variable and again i can explore the side options i can get the central tendency of all the variables you know these are all the dispersions i can get in one go quantiles as per my need whatever i can see over here i can get it in just one click and, and hit continue but as in again there are a lot of options you can explore it from your end if you click the chart you can get the chart as well in one go Okay, you can get by pi histogram as per your need with some show normal curves as well. Okay, so these are all the advanced options wherein you can get the measurements and the graphs in one click. You don't need to do it again. See, over here we have got the statistics wherein these are all the number of income categories in people. Then again, we get a frequency table for each variable as in this is for the income categories in thousand. primary vehicle category years that current employees then i've got the histograms with the normal curve in just one click that's how easy and user friendly spss is okay now same way you can create some other visual graphings as well there is another methods to do so when you just go to graphs chart builder this is the canvas how it looks like and these are all the types of charts you can create into spss as in bar line area pie polar scatter histogram high ho low box plot and so on now if in case if you want to know what all this type of chart it is you have to just keep your mouse on the top of the chart you will get a small pop up as in this is a simple bar this is a clustered bar and so on whatever your choice is you have to just drag in and drop it into the canvas and now select the variables you want on you can again create some literally good attractive visualization by making the changes this is a really nice thing and just hit okay your graph will be done see so that's how easy it is for you to use spss in terms of doing any analysis or create some really nice visualization okay so again the rest of the options we also have extension hub wherein in this extension hub there are 130 plus extension which are free of cost you can download it you can get the extension as per your need whatever you require i just want you to explore it from your end So once you start using SPSS within a month, you will be uh, getting along, and within six months, you'll be exploring all of these options from your end. Okay, so there is some error I'm getting. Okay, so this is the extension hub will look like, wherein these are the categories for you. These are the language it is compatible with R, Python, and Java. 
and so on simple example you will be you can do text analysis in spss as well through this extension which is free created by a certain community or some research or scholars all right you have to just make sure you you go with the prerequisite as in what it requires to get this extension okay as in this requires the spss version more than 24 plus if you have that you can get this extension that's how it works all right so this was all about by my side now uh, in case if anyone has any question do let me know so i can address it uh told you whatever i knew about it okay so thank you mr gorov for your nice and very to the point presentation over here and uh, now let me request my online audience those who are in the online uh, the platform if you have any questions you may you may put up in the chat box or you may directly okay i think your questions may be put up in the chat box to take care about the demonstrator or from my side i can spell it out before the demonstrator okay and from conference hall center like those who are over here you are also requested to take part If you have any questions, please come this side and say something about your questions, queries, confusions. Because Mr. Gordon is there to make clear of your questions and confusions. So both side in yeah. online. So yes, I can Hello. see some questions in the chat box. Uh, so first yeah. thing, when someone has asked, Sambuda Banerji, I suppose is a paid software. So are we going to get some kind of a student subscription for accessing the software? Okay. To answer your question, uh, Miss Sambuda, uh, so SPSS gives you two option. Okay, we have offer you two option, wherein one is standalone software and one is network software. It depends upon what you want. Standalone uh, standalone software will be used in only in one PC at a time, and the network software you can uh, you will be getting ten uses and password, uh, so that ten people can use it at a time. It will be installed into your server based hmm. so next question i see with tanushri why is gender marked as a string variable it is marked as a categorical variable string it is because we are using strings in it right as in it is not a numerical variable we have we modified it into a categorical variable it is nominal but it also has been labeled as one and two yeah that, that's what we have modified our uh, variable what is programmability transformation okay is spss software payable or not yes it is a paid software but uh, for students there is one uh, what do you say trial version you have to just register on the ibm website i have i hope they do they do have some trial versions for students can you show us how bootstrap works sure i can show but i have to prepare it for you we are a group of statistician at spss we dedicately you know create a case study out of some data set and then show it showcase it to you where i cannot randomly pull out any kr data set for that we have to prepare for that so once you get the software and uh, you are opted in for the bootstrapping model i'll definitely show you i'll try to create some case study with my uh, colleagues and help you with that but right now i have not made any data set or created any data set for that okay so it is nothing but a resampling technique you can consider there is a 100 variables i'm going to remove 10 variables at a time calculate statistics and then create a set out of it and then perform a statistics on that it works kind of that <clears throat> Okay, and about the uh, any other question? Yes, sir. Do you have any question? Can we? Sir, can we perform uh, qualitative data analysis with the twenty nine version? 
Yes, you can. You it was already done. Like the non back twentieth version as well. From that version, you can do that. Uh, there are more advanced category categorical techniques has been added in the module. You can perform it. Yes. Okay. Any more questions from all? Okay, I think there is no more questions from my side. Uh, I mean, both in online and offline from conference or central library. But I have to a small request, or you can say uh, yes proposal also. That how can we get the institution wide trial access of this? Is it possible at all? So, sir, in institutional uh, trial version i don't think so there is but uh, for your for your purpose as in for just to trial purpose you can just go on to ibm website and uh, you can register it as in a as user and once you uh, register over there you will be getting a one month free trial license for each and every one for each scholars or students you can get it it should be done individual by their own Yes, you have to do it individually by their own people. As in, everyone has to put their register their themselves. Okay. And about the academic license for SPSS in future, yes, you we do have a offer going on for academic purple purpose. That is the network license, wherein in one standalone license price you can get ten users network license. Okay. That's the academic offer we have going on for each and every institute in India. First thing first. And okay. about that, uh, if I ask you, sir, uh, that as I told you that there are fourteen modules. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any two add-on modules in your mind that you would like to go in future? Go with. Have you? I've already discussed, or you need to have a discussion on that. Okay, then that will uh, I will make by telephone with Nilam Madam or you, and also mail. I will make it done. Okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think uh, we are almost. At the uh, wrap up part of this session, and I, on behalf of the Vishwarathi Library Network in particular and Vishwarathi in general, would like to convey our deep sense and thanks to you, Mr. Gurudev and Madam Nilan, for taking uh, uh, soldiering this kind of pain to have us have this demonstration program for the Vishwarathi fraternity, and which is very, uh, I mean. Uh, Less pain or unpain, or there is you know there is no harass. Uh, what I want to say that is disturbing free platform, and your presentation was very much uh, uh, to what I say is that illustrative and uh, you know very clear. But the thing is that uh, every human being like me and others, everyone, it's very easier to you to demonstrate being the developer or being the marketing executive of the software, but it's very tedious to us to accept. Whatever you are saying regarding this fourteen add-ons and then other features and application, so once we are able to access it yes. and then input it, then only we will be able to figure out the, what actually problem we are going to face. And by my scholars and by the faculty members, then that time I will of course coordinate with them. But however, as a primary information, it is nice. And from the IBM software and from SPSS, I will go through and I will find what part that the tutorial is also there. Of course, I will ask my colleagues to go with that. And we orient ourselves, aware of ourselves, and regarding trial version, let's see how uh, can we offer best to our academics. And in uh, course of time, when fund will available, of course uh, we are very keen and want to to subscribe to study the research quality by using this marvelous software. And uh, what I actually say is a very scholar-friendly research tools to 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 steer up the research work from their side. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think this is uh, much. Now we can stop. Finally, last but not least, let's accept our deep sense of thanks to you all, Indian team and uh, international team from Vishwarathi, and we'll go together in future. Uh, we'll have a good journey for future. Thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. Yes, you can take your time, sir. It is very easy to use. I've dropped my email in the chat box. It is gorabhadrat.spss.co.in. Okay. In case if you have any queries, you can do drop a mail. Yeah. And thank you again, everyone. It was really nice interacting with and, you. Uh, with my I think you won't have any objection if you want to display this video in our YouTube channel. We have live YouTube channel. So if you share this video, 
I think my scholars and my faculty members will be those who are not able to real time attend, so they may listen it. I think you won't have any objection from your side. Um, no, sir, I do not have any, but uh, do share me the link as well. Of course, of course, why not? Of course, I will share. I will share. Okay. So thank you very much. Nice to meet you again in future. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah. Take care.